Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mr. Morell's online YouTube channel. Happy Friday, and today is a very special day for us. Today is our final day of first grade. We have had a very interesting school year. It definitely was not a normal school year since we have not been there in a while, but we've still been having to do some work from home. So it definitely was a very special school year. And I just want to say that I've been so proud of you guys and all of the work that you've been doing and all of the work that you did all year long. It definitely made the school year very special for me. And I just want to say thank you guys for being awesome, for being the best students that any teacher could ever ask for. But um, I am going to miss you guys very much when you guys go to second grade. But I can't wait to see you back at school to say hi and to see how you're doing since it's been so long since we got to be at school to say hi. So I can't wait to be back to see you guys. Maybe we can have a day or two where we get to spend some time together um, to kind of catch up and see how things are going. But you guys have been working so hard and we gotta make sure that we keep working hard over the summer so that we can keep up with our first grade skills and um, we're super ready for second grade. So the only thing that I wanna do today is I have a story for you today called Second Grade Rocks. This is a story about what it's like to be in second grade. So hopefully this story um, will kind of get you ready for what second grade is going to be like next year. So that's the only thing we have planned for our last day today. So let's get started. So this story is Second Grade Rocks and it was written by Judy Catch. So here we go. Second Grade Rocks. It was the last day of school. Hey, guess what? Kono said. Today is the last day of first grade. The last day of first grade, Andrew said, forever? So here they are, last day of school. Welcome summer. It's the last day of first grade for them too. The classroom looked like a carnival. Miss Fickle sat inside a little booth. Today, she was dressed as a fortune teller. I can see the future, Miss Fickle said. I see all of you in second grade. Cool! Colin, Molly, Kono, Julia, and Josh cheered. Not cool, Andrew said. Why do you think he said it was not cool? They're all excited because the teacher said she sees what it's like in second grade. But then Andrew's like, that's not cool. Why do you think he said that? Now it's your turn to see the future, Miss Fickle said. What will you be like in second grade? Miss Fickle passed out the paper and the crayons. Are you ready? Set? Draw! She said. And everyone began to draw. Everyone but Andrew. How come he's not participating? What's up with that? See, look, here he is sitting. He's not participating. What do you think's going on? Andrew wasn't ready or set. He didn't want to draw himself in second grade. He didn't even want to think about second grade. But Julia did. She couldn't wait for second grade. Second grade's going to be great, Julia said. And so will I. So here's Julia. She's drawing what second grade's like for her. When I'm in second grade, I'll read more books than ever, Julia said. I'll build a huge tower of books all the way to the sky. That is a big pile of books. Andrew fed Nibbles, the class pet. He still didn't want to think about second grade, but Colin did. He couldn't wait for second grade. Second grade is going to be awesome, Colin said, and so will I. When I'm in second grade, I'll be tall enough to do a slam dunk, Colin said. And at lunchtime, I'll be able to reach the best desserts. Yum. So he, he thinks he's going to be so tall in second grade, he can get all the desserts off the top shelf. Andrew watered the class plants. He still didn't want to think about second grade. But Kono did. She couldn't wait for second grade. 
Second grade will be totally cool, Kono said. And so will I. She's going to be a superstar. When I'm in second grade, I'll be the star in the class play, Kono said. She's going to make the costumes. She's going to make all of the sets. And she's going to do the music, too. She's the superstar. I'll make the costumes. I'll paint the sets. I'll play the music. And I'll even pull the curtain when it is showtime. So Kono thinks she's going to do it all. But what about Andrew? Andrew rested his head on his desk. He still didn't want to think about second grade. But Josh did. He couldn't wait for second grade. Second grade will be sweet, Josh said. And so will I. He thinks it's going to be the coolest time ever. When I'm in second grade, I'll be bigger, and so will my ant farm, Josh said. And, and the ant city will have skyscrapers, bridges, and even its own baseball teams. Go crawlers! Get it? He named the ants baseball team the crawlers because ants crawl. This is his ant city. This is all where his ants live. He has pet ants, and they're all in the city. Ant city. What about Andrew, though? Andrew sharpened a pile of pencils. He still didn't want to think about second grade. But Molly did. She couldn't wait for second grade. Second grade will be out of this world, Molly said, and so will I. When I'm in second grade, I'll build a robot for the science fair, Molly said. My robot will talk walk, and play kickball. It will even clean up the pet cage. Andrew did everything not to think about second grade. He popped buckets of popcorn. He even spun the prize wheel until he got dizzy. Where's your picture, Andrew? Colin asked. Don't you want to go to second grade? Kono asked. No, said Andrew. Never! Why not? Josh asked. Why do you think he doesn't want to go to second grade? Everyone else does, but why don't you think Andrew does? Because, Andrew shouted, then we won't be first grade friends anymore. That's true, Andrew, Miss Fickle said. You won't be first grade friends. You'll be second grade friends, Andrew smiled. And then he raced to his desk and drew himself in second grade. He put Colin, Molly, Kono, Julia, and Josh all in his picture too. So here's his picture. He drew all of his friends because they're all going to be in second grade. Second grade is going to rock, Andrew said, and so are we. Second grade, here we come. And all of the kids cheer. So here's Andrew's picture of all of them in second grade. So I think that is the perfect story for us to end our school year with. Because just like the, the friends in the story, their school year in first grade is coming to an end as well. So hopefully you guys can remember all of the good times we had this year um, that we had in the classroom. We got to spend together, going on field trips together, um, doing all of our work together. It has been an absolutely amazing first grade school year and I hope you guys will never forget it um, I know I will never forget it and I definitely will miss you guys very much I will continue posting YouTube videos every once maybe once a week in the summer and um, if you guys want maybe we could do a couple of zoom calls just to stay in touch but please make sure that you keep up your schoolwork over the summer so that when we come back to school year you guys will be more ready than ever so that is it for our everyday YouTube video lessons, and I definitely will miss you guys. So have a great summer, everybody. Hopefully I'll talk to you sooner than later, but um, that is it for me today. Bye, guys.